Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, or PNH, is a rare and lethal disorder of the blood. In PNH, the body attacks and destroys red blood cells in massive amounts. Prior to the development of complement inhibitor therapy, PNH conferred a mortality rate of 25 to 35 percent within 5 to 10 years of diagnosis. Telltale signs and symptoms of the disorder include fatigue, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, sudden blood clotting, or thrombosis, and, as the disorder's name suggests, dark hemoglobin rich urine. But it's what can't be seen that makes PNH so insidious. PNH's origins lie in a genetic mutation carried by stem cells in the bone marrow. This mutation affects red blood cells' ability to form specialized anchor proteins known as GPI anchors. Without properly functioning anchors, the red blood cells can't bind inhibitory proteins that would normally protect them from the body's complement system, a fundamental part of the immune response. The result is destruction by a process known as intravascular hemolysis. The exact cause of intravascular hemolysis in PNH is well understood. Without proper inhibition by complement regulatory proteins located on the surface of red blood cells, the complement protein C3 remains active and allows a second protein, C5, to trigger the formation of a membrane attack complex. This complex punches holes in red blood cells and ultimately causes them to rupture. Dead cells and other cellular debris build up faster than they can be cleared, creating the threat for blood clots. Unfortunately for many patients, it's only then that they discover that something isn't right. Doctors and patients may go years without connecting non-specific symptoms of PNH, such as anemia, abdominal and back pain, and difficulty swallowing to the disorder. Clinicians can detect PNH by testing for lactate dehydrogenase, or LDH in the blood found abundantly in red blood cells. This enzyme is released once the cells are ruptured by the protein C5. Current treatment methods involve either bone marrow transplantation or treatment with C5 inhibitors. Blocking C5 is the current standard of care for PNH. C5 inhibitors, such as eculizumab, a monoclonal antibody, block the complement cascade and therefore the formation of the membrane attack complex. By preventing intravascular hemolysis, C5 inhibitors reduce mortality, improve quality of life, and reduce the need for transfusions. However, they don't eliminate that need completely. C5 inhibitors do not directly affect the activity of complement protein C3. One of the consequences of C5 inhibition is the opsonization of red blood cells by complement protein C3, which results in their sequestration and destruction primarily in the spleen in a process called extravascular hemolysis. Approximately 7% of patients with PNH will experience extravascular hemolysis, which, along with other factors such as underlying bone marrow dysfunction, infection or renal dysfunction, can keep patients dependent on blood transfusions. Although a cure remains elusive, now is an exciting time for PNH research. Through clinical trials, many new treatments are becoming available. And with each new discovery, clinicians and patients learn how to gain better control over this devastating disease.